education cuts. No ifs, no buts. No education cuts. No ifs, no buts. No education cuts. No ifs, no buts. No education cuts. We're here because the governors today are proposing to make another 165 job cuts at London Met. The majority of the job cuts that have been proposed are in the Faculty of Business and Law. It will probably destroy the faculty. Now as the faculty brings in something like £12 million of revenue, it's actually a mad business decision, never mind what it does to both the students and the staff in that faculty. We've then got quite significant cuts in the Faculty of Social Sciences and Humanities and smaller but still significant cuts in my faculty, the Faculty of Life Science and Computing and in this faculty in terms of of the CAS school. All of the cuts are premised on frontline staff. Predominantly the two largest cuts for us were in the international office and in IT. At the beginning of term in September, IT support workers, 30% were off sick with illnesses, most of them stress-related illness, when staff and students needed IT support the most. We had over a hundred jobs logged in the queue to be fixed and yet that was a result of last year's restructure. This year's restructure again they're targeting those frontline support. This is just a spiral of decline that we talked about elsewhere. The management of the university year after year I've observed them cause crisis after crisis. In my seven years here they've got into debt with Hefke, they've tried to privatise the whole support services, paid hundreds of thousands of pounds to capita which achieved nothing. They've, caught, they've cut courses which were successful courses which has contributed to the drop in numbers. We had a staff survey, something like 89% of all staff have zero faith in the leadership of this university. We actually feel that the university management are bullying they're attacking our students' welfare. They're damaging our students' prospects. They've turned around and said, the problem is at least 30% of staff are, quote, actively disengaged. And the vice chancellor has said, we now need to manage the disengaged out of the university. I'm not disengaged from my students. I am disengaged from my management. We need to put the pressure on the Board of Governors to turf out the management because they're the problem, not the staff. Cut the management, not the staff. That's what we need to be doing. We have seven members of our executive group. The seven members between them get a million pound a year. They say cut back! We say fight back! in the way that you, um, young people and mature students access education and it's very key in the fight for cutting education because if they can do it at London Met, they can do it anywhere. We won't have it at London Met. So I'd like to encourage students to continue to support staff, it's really important. London Met is such a vital, important institution. There's more black students cited than the top 20 Russell Group universities combined. It supports more women back into education than any other institution in the country. And it's just absolutely vital. I mean, it gives people like me a second chance at education. I'm a parent of a student, a final year student here at London Met, and I've seen firsthand how the cuts that have happened so far have impacted uh, detrimentally on him. What the students were told they were coming into as a degree changed by the time they enrolled, on the day they enrolled. It was a different course. The Pathways course that was supposed to be attached to it was taken away. The resources that they said were going to be provided for the students when they were plugging it and promoting it as the option to go for weren't there when they arrived. And year on year, they've been cut. And even for field trips, the students on top of the triple tuition fees were expected to fork out £3,000 to go on a field trip to the USA and most of them couldn't go on it. I'm actually fed up of having to come outside London Met because I don't <laughs> think we should be out here every other, every other year because actually the people that should be out of that building are the management that have run your university yeah. in their ground and you should be saying enough is enough and we've had enough of this management and they're the ones that actually should be looking for their future not the well paid, not the fantastically supportive staff that actually make this university unique inside London. The idea 
that you take an institution forward by destroying its very core, destroying its very values, reducing the student numbers by 3,000, and thus hundreds of jobs as a result of that, what are we left with? A smaller, business orientated university just like any other. The way in which the education of students in this area, the local working class and ethnic minority students in North and East London is being destroyed is something of which those people up there should be totally ashamed. When the Tories have the nerve to say they care about aspiration, what about the aspiration of working class people for education? What about the aspiration of working class people for a decent home? What about the aspiration of working class people for jobs? And we're only going to get those if we fight for them. I'm here simply because I'm a concerned citizen. And the thing is, 30 years ago, there were academics and teachers who helped to shape my mind to be where I am just now. Teachers, academics are important. If we don't stand up just now to defend their rights, one day it may be ours that's under assault. That tree represents all of us. The root is in doing what's right for London Met and for education in this country. The branches are the various ways in which we approach this. Whether we lobby, whether we demonstrate, the point is we must agitate. We have just voted in our union for strike action and action short of a strike not just to defend our jobs, but to defend our students and their interests. Our ballot, 67% of those who voted, voted in favour of strike action. We will be actioning that ballot. We got an 86% yes vote in a two week turnaround on the Survey Monkey quick poll. Um, so we know very well that because nothing's changed between now and then, our members will be voting yes. We need to be lecturers, professional support staff, students and people from outside the university coming together. We want to see you on our picket lines. Whatever you decide to do in the coming weeks, students will be supporting you. Um, whatever whatever happens, we will be there. Um, so, no ifs, no buts. No, no education cuts. No ifs, no buts. No education cuts. No ifs, no buts. No education cuts.